Hello everyone, this is Della Dulac. Today I'm going to show you my samples from the Paper Pumpkin December 2021 kit. This one is called Lots of Pun. It's very funny. It's got some really cute little sayings in here. And with all of our Paper Pumpkin kits, you usually get this fun little sneak peek flyer that talks about the next kit. So the January kit is going to have some fun little kisses and hugs, some hearts, little X's and O's over here. That'll be a fun kit, I think. And then, so with any of your, your first kits that you get, you always get a little uh, clear block to use with the, all of your stamp sets that come in your kit. So hang on to that and you will use those with all of these stamp sets. These are photopolymer stamp sets. This one has all of the fun, fun little punny sayings that are in here. Thanks a bunch. I pick you. That could be with little cherries. Uh, what else? I loaf you to go with a piece of bread. You tell the best yolks. Lots of fun, fun little sayings in here. And I'm going to get out the samples put those over here for a second. So when you, for what you get in your kit, you always get a little um, ink spot, a little ink stamp. This one is early espresso. This one has some little twine. I'm just going to go over a few of the little parts and pieces that come in the kit. So these are the card bases. Sometimes I like to cut my card bases apart and use them, get a little bit more uh, use out of my cards, depending on if the print goes through uh, to the back side. These don't, so you've got a fun little print on the front and then just a color for the back and then the white cores, you've got the white inside. So these I actually just left alone because they all have this nice little um, border around there. So it kind of looks like it's been matted already. So I just left those as is. But I did change up my cards and I did them differently than what you've got in your kit here. So here again are the what the intended projects are supposed to be, but I did change them up a little bit. And on the flip side of your instruction sheet, it does show you a couple of uh, little alternates that they have given you as ideas. I will give you a few more. And if you want to follow the instructions to, to put these together as the kit wasn't intended, you can open that up and follow these um, great pictures. It shows you step-by-step -step pictures of how to put them together uh, to put them um, as, the, as they were intended. But of course, like I've mentioned before, I really like looking at my paper pumpkin kits as a supply box. And then I will mix and match and, and put different things together. So here is one of the sheets. So you get all of these little guys that you can punch out. Once again, I'm going to show you my handy little tip. As you punch all of these little guys out, uh, you usually have these let's punch out one of these. You usually have all of these little little paper nubs so you can kind of see right here and if you have your little handy dandy emery board you can just rub those right off. Some are, are more pronounced than others and especially if you put them against a dark background they really stand out. Um, I just like to rub those off so I punch out all of my pieces and I rub off all those little paper nibs. So same thing, any, any of the things that you punch out of these sheets, you're going to have all those little paper nibs. So you want to clean those up. So this one here has all these fun little word bubbles that you can stamp these greetings, uh, sayings inside of these. It's kind of hard to tell on the video, but there is a little printed dotted line around there as well kind of hard to tell. Anyway, so here are some of the little sheets that you can use on your cards, some little vellum pieces. Uh, there's of course one of the envelopes. Here are all of my little pieces that I've got left over, but I will use those up. And I've also cut apart 
It's kind of hard to tell because they're all cut apart because when they were in a sheet, let's see, um, this one here. So this one here had a whole big sheet over here and I've just, I've cut them apart and I've even used some of the little negative spaces that come out, like right here. So you punch out the, the fun little scallop part and then you're left with this here and you can still use that on a card too. So I just kind of layer that underneath pieces and you'll see that on some of my cards. But I just wanted to show you that you can look at all of these parts and pieces. I can use those as well. Um, just to try to get as much out of your kits as you can, especially if you're just starting out and you don't really have a whole lot um, of parts and pieces that you can use. So definitely look at all of that negative space too. Here are some of the envelopes. Again, a lot of people like to cut up their envelopes and use the inside liners. I don't usually do that. Sometimes I do. I did use that, uh, the striped one. So I did cut this one or one of these apart um, for some of my other card samples. And I'll show you that. Let's move that box. And I'll bring my samples back over. Okay. Get myself organized here. Oops. Oop, don't look yet. Okay, so here are again are, are the intended samples that I can show you that I did use the, the same card base, but I switched that up. These looked, they're supposed to be eggs, uh, and then you would stamp the egg on top of it for the detail, but they look like flowers. I opened these up, I was like, those would be super cute flowers, so I took my little uh, um, little leaf here from the from the cherry, and I stamped two of those. You definitely want to make sure that you're if you have if you've stamped it, you want to make sure it's super clean, um, or use a sticky note or something when you're stamping so you don't stamp uh, a little bit too much of the cherry out here on your paper. So you can use a sticky note just to make sure. So I stamped two leaves. So I, I just inked the leaf with a marker and stamped two leaves where I know I was going to put this um, flower, even though it's supposed to be an egg. And then I used some of this uh, liner piece on the inside. You know me, I like to put a few little things on the inside of the cards. So I just rearranged some of those parts and pieces and a little bit of the twine and a super cute little card. This one here, I used uh, a greeting from the Sweet Strawberry stamp set because they're cherries. I thought this would be a super cute little happy birthday you sweet thing. So I used that. So you can pull out some of your stamp sets that you have or even past kits and use some of the other greetings from those. And then you can really get uh, a lot out of your, your paper pumpkin kits. It kind of stretches them even further. So this one uh, was intended for, um, let me find that piece. It is somewhere over here. Here it is. So this one you were supposed to use the square piece with this one, but I used the little circle punch out, so you would punch this out, and I used that instead. So I'll use these on a different card. And I, I didn't want to cover up the, the fun little um, pool party, almost looks like a cup stain. <laughs> Put a little bit of the wash background so I didn't want to cover up so much of that so I just used a little bit of that in the circle here and I stamped my greeting right on my card and then I just took a couple of those little pieces to glue right underneath my greeting. And this one here was supposed to be with the egg and the toast. Kind of see those. Let's see. I'm, I'm just mixing and matching, just kind of checking them out. Oh, on the inside here, I stamped some cherries, so it would kind of go with the front. This one here, I just stamped more, more of the, 
the um, banana down here, but I didn't I didn't color those. I just left those in the espresso. Very cute. This one I left that here so I wouldn't lose him. So I took uh, the note cards and envelopes. I've mentioned this before. When you get, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, it's really handy to have some of these note cards and envelopes also. And then you can use those and you've got your, their, your envelope to go with it. Just fold those up. This I did use um, the square part on here. It fits so nice here. Um, uh, so you can have a little bit of the border and all the way up to the top. And then I just did this down here with a few of those extra pieces. See, this is a, a little negative space after you punch out the little red scallops. You'll have that left over. But to get my banana, I used uh, just a little post-it note to make a mask. So you would stamp your, your first banana here in the middle, and then you cover him up right with your mask. And then you can stamp your other two bananas so it looks like they're behind that first banana. So that's how I made my bunch of bananas. Thanks a bunch. And again, I just stamped a couple on the inside. I did mask that one again and stamped one on my envelopes or the envelope. And how I colored those is I colored those with the... Um, uh, watercolor pencils and I used my blender pen and as I'm coloring I just took my blender pen and just kind of dabbed kind of got so it looks like you know how bananas get a little ripe as they're sitting there you get little spotted so that's what I did with those guys there here it is this one's really funny I loaf you let's grow mold together so the little dots that come in here, um, I did some in the brown, but I also got some of my old olives, so it would have some little green mold spots on there. Super fun. And along the inside of the card, too. Kind of fun. Took this. Is This one is this part of the envelope. I just left that nice little curve there, so after you open this up, the the li the liner that striping goes the whole length of there you go so it's all over in the inside so when you open this up it had that nice little curve there so I thought I would just leave that there instead of cutting that off straight and then just a little piece on the inside a couple more stamped cherries you are cherry sweet a little bit of twine and I just took some um, basic card pieces so if you for your basic cards or your card base uh, here we go so this down here will tell you the colors that are in the kit so pool party pop and par poppy um, parade which is what I got for my card bases so you can that's very handy to look on the back so you can see what colors they used if you want to match up some other card bases for your kits so that's where I got that one. This one here, again, those look like flowers to me. So I got one of my old leaf punches, cupped out, uh, punched out a couple leaves. Here are some um, old tags from a, a, pa a past paper pumpkin kit. And then this piece right here, a little tip. So when you cut your envelope apart, you can see that fold line right there. But it goes, I wanted to use this whole thing. So I did right here, and let's see if you can see that. If I move this over, you can kind of tell that that's where the fold line is. You sort of see that. Anyway, I just put my twine right over where that little score line or score mark is to cover that up. So I'm just really using a lot of this up. Very cute. Oh, and this one here I used, again, I took a past paper pumpkin kit, and this one was from March, and I used the happy birthday from there. So hang on to all of your little stamps, and you'll never know which one, if you like, if you need a small happy birthday, it fit perfectly on this tag. I like the different fonts, so it's a great way to use a great way, I keep telling you that. Hopefully you guys are listening. So anyway, 
This one was fun. I did the little toast to your success. Just a few extra little stamps in the background and highlighting him with the glasses. Very cute. Again, a little strip left over from my envelope. And I only cut up one envelope, so I've got a lot of pieces that you can see on these cards that I've used. This one was kind of fun to do. All of these yellow bananas are the scraps from the envelope. So I just stamped those bananas on the yellow side and cut them out. My banana here got a little bit uh, funny shaped. I was trying to make it look like it was peeled, but it's okay. I'm not sure if I if this is my favorite one, but it's kind of fun anyway. Peel better soon. More bananas on the inside, down the side. And then this one was kind of fun. Again, look at your negative space. I thought that this was kind of a fun way to use this piece right here. So these two were set nicely side by side. So I just cut that out, evened it out, and then laid it on my card where I wanted them to be. And I just stamped my pieces of bread right through that little opening so they would be in the right position. And then put those on with some dimensionals so there's a little bit of lift. Same thing with the uh, I Loaf You. I just used a little scrap of, of the tag here and flagged the ends, little pieces of that here. Very cute, a little guy on the inside. I used my blender pen as I stamped this. I stamped it with, uh, um, with the espresso and I just used my blender, plan, blender, blender pen to um, kind of give a little bit, let's see if you can see that one but a little bit better. So you can see when you stamp right here that, that crust of bread on the side there, I just used the ink that was right there with the blender pen. Very cute. And this one's kind of fun, you tell the best yolks just stamped a whole bunch of the egg stamp and some on the inside. So I hope you guys liked all of these uh, samples. It would be kind of fun to send a few of these to uh, some of my friends that might appreciate uh, something punny. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.